Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your September 2023 monthly spirit messages reading. So let's see what we have for you. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates. So what do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you. We're going to pull a few oracle messages and angel messages and then we will go into the tarot. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? This is the spirit message deck. Message for Sagittarius. So we have nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Sometimes this comes up when you're doing so much, you need a break, you need to recharge, you need to revitalise, you need to take a step back. So it might well be some advice for you. <clears throat> I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael card. Let's see what we have for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. Message for Sagittarius. Focus upon divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. <clears throat> Let's pull you a spirit animal oracle card see what we have for the month of September for Sagittarius, thank you. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. September, two cards. We have Elk. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with, you, treat you with the respect that you deserve. With that we have Zebra. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. There's something to do with the way forward with those two energies, but we will see what else we get. Okay. A message for our lovely Sagittarius. Thank you. I'm going to pull you a destiny card. A message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you for the month of September. Oh, beautiful. We have the butterfly transformation. Always a lovely energy to get. So let's read that out. We have the blue butterfly. This is a time for change, reinvention, a rebirth into a new way of being. If you've been plodding along, this card suggests that you take measures to shift everything. Don't resist change. The blue colour suggests a spiritual renewal or initiation. Transformation doesn't mean taking something old and remodelling it or rearranging it a few things. It means becoming something completely different or doing something completely different. Change is often uncomfortable, but it can usually be for the highest good. This is a very lucky card. And drawing this card can mean that a wish may be about to come true. Okay, let's pull some cards, see what we have for you. What is the message from the Spirit for? Our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. Message from Spirit for Sagittarius, September. So I've got the Hanged Man. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess and bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Wands. Now Queen of Wands energy can be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, male or female or the energy of the card.
Sagittarius, the hanged man suggests a period of stillness coming into this reading that you might have been experiencing. We're still for many reasons. Sometimes life experiences or changes make us still. That could be changes in employment. That can be to do with health areas that arise. Um, it can be relationships as well. But this is that period of stillness where, again, not a lot is going on physically, you know, with the hanged man energy, but a lot's going on internally. There's a lot of of looking at things, processing things, analysing things, finding wisdom, looking for answers, looking for illumination, waiting to release from a period of being stuck. So this is what I'm I'm seeing here. And like I said, coming into this reading, it might well be you have been, and sometimes we bide our time. Sometimes we just wait for the right thing to appear. We wait for the right opportunity, the right door to open, the right path to appear, the right avenue. So again, the hanged man, we're still for a number of reasons, uh, but I feel that this is a scenario here where you are waiting for a new beginning. Now, the high priestess is indicating to me that this is, you just know, you're acting on your in intuition, you're trusting your intuition in how you're reading things playing out, in how you're reading uh, the signs, uh, how things are moving forward. It might well be conversations that you're having, uh, how you're interacting with a person or people. Uh, and again, it's something practical that's at the core of all of this with the Ace of Pentacles. But you just know you're responding intuitively. It's a very, very uh, connected energy. It's a higher consciousness energy, the High Priestess. You've got very strong intuitive energy that even though you are entering September feeling stuck or still, you just know what to do, how to respond, how to assess situations. You have feelings about how things are going. And that's the energy here that I'm seeing. Because you're, you're coming at this Sagittarius from a warrior energy. Queen of Wands is a warrior queen. Uh, this is somebody who's go-getting driven, not doesn't accept. I mean, this is somebody who would say failure is not an option, you know? Uh, so this is somebody who you're, you're approaching this from a point of empowerment, from a point of taking action, being driven, go-getting. Um, because I feel that you're trying to effect change within whatever this is, this stillness is all about. Sometimes we we go through change, like I said, could be employment changes, can be health might make us be still in some way and affect, you know, our practical circumstances. It could well be to do with property areas, you know, or landlord areas in some way. Um, but ultimately the same thing applies. There is a practical new door opening for you. And that's what I'm, I'm sensing here. And you have just been really trusting your instinct in how you respond to this situation in order to effect positive change now. And approaching this from a point of, of empowerment, recognizing who you are. Uh, Queen of Wands doesn't accept less than she deserves. You know, this is somebody who is independent, go-getting, driven, uh, takes the lead in their own life and is very successful as a result of that, you know? So she keeps on going until she gets where she wants to go. And and this is the energy here that I'm seeing. So with a male or female, this is the energy that you're adopting. With the Ace of Pentacles, now this can be, like I said, a practical new beginning. It's very positive in terms of money areas, job areas, business areas. It's a new avenue, it's a new door that's opening for you in that respect. It can also be linked with things like moving, relocation, property, um, a sum of money to start something even, a sum of money to, um, you know, move or relocate. So however that manifests for you, I feel that it's a period of stillness. Sometimes with the hanged man, we bide our time. So in that will be if you're at a current job and you've been waiting for the right opportunity to come up, this is where you're just saying, this is it. This is it. I know this is coming my way. And it looks like something concrete is opening up for you. For those of you who have gone through change and you felt stuck as a result of circumstances that have happened, employment, property, um, and again, it could even be things like changes in relationships, and you've been waiting for, again, a sum of money, a new opportunity, moving or relocating to open up for you. 
This is the energy here where you just feel, you just know that how you've responded to a situation is going to bring in that solid new beginning for you. So either way, you're being told here, take care of your health. And I said at the beginning of this reading, didn't I? I feel, because again, this somebody, this is just pure action, intuitive action with the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who's go, go, go all the time. So it might well be, you just need to kind of like regulate that a little bit as well here, Sagittarius, because I feel that things are playing out absolutely as they're meant to be. You have some kind of gift coming your way as well. This is a golden gift. This is a blessing coming into you that opens up a new door. But it just feels like I feel spirit is saying, just take care of you. Just take that full foot off the accelerator because you will be more effective. You will get more done if you allow yourself to be a little bit refreshed and rejuvenated and take a step back now and again. But this is all part of your transformation. You are emerging from one, one phase of your life into another. And I always say with a butterfly, it's not always an easy process to move from the chrysalis to the butterfly, but something beautiful comes out at the end. So that's what I'm seeing here. And like I said, this I was saying at the beginning of the reading, it feels like this the way forward is open to you. Something is opening up uh, and it's all very powerfully, divinely timed. Uh, but I, I feel that this is about action in moderation, regulating your health and well-being as well as part of this process. And also positive health recoveries, if that's what you've been stuck with, or even taking, had to put your career on the back burner because you were looking after somebody else. So this can be an energy here if, if you're even thinking about getting back into the workplace, the same message applies. It shows you're going through a period of deep profound transformation. But you're finding that sense of new solid footing on a new path. All right, that, that fell out, so we'll go with it. We have discipline. An unruly dog is a hazard to itself and others. <clears throat> The animal which has learned discipline and obedience can be trusted and will loyally and lovingly serve its master. It is then allowed off its lead. Through discipline comes freedom. The master you are called on to obey is your higher self. You came to earth on a mission and only self-discipline will enable you to fulfill it. Tune in and ask your angels for their help and support so that your life becomes happy and rewarding and divinely directed. Discipline is a key to fulfilling your destiny. Self-discipline brings me freedom. That is the affirmation. All right. I'm going to pull you a final message. Final message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. Your intuition is strong. We are reaching out to help. Number seven. Bottom of the deck. I did look at it, so I'm going to say it. Explore new ventures. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. Number one. And one is linked with new beginnings. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius, for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.